News and Information, 570 AM. 96.3 FM HD2. KLIF Dallas. KSCS FM HD2 Fort Worth. KLIF.com. Accumula Station. Now, from the fifth floor Cumulus Studios in downtown Dallas, it's time for Inside Real Estate. Here's your host, Michael Krasinga. Good morning, Dallas, Fort Worth, Metroplex. This is Inside Real Estate. It is Mike Krasinga right here coming to you live from downtown Dallas. I am your local DFW area realtor. And uh, we're going to talk real estate today. We're going to talk a little bit about mortgage, insurance. Uh, we're going to talk about home improvement and flooring. Throw in some sports and entertainment uh, just to round it all out. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, here's the call number, by the way, if you want to call in. 888-787-KLIF. 888-787-KLIF. So if you want to talk about anything uh, related to real estate, you got questions, uh, if you're buying, selling, you've got friends that are buying or selling, you've heard some things out there uh, in the media uh, about real estate uh, or mortgage, refinance, anything like that, feel free to call in, uh, insurance or otherwise. So just give us a shout, 888-787-KLIF. Uh, website, insiderealestateradio.com, insiderealestateradio.com. You can connect with me. Uh, you can bounce over to my website, DFW Metroplex Real Estate, uh, or any of our other partners. All the contact information is right there. And, of course, our app. Don't forget to download that if you're active in the real estate search out there or just want to be up to date on that information. Uh, on your smarty phone, you can uh, go into your search uh query there and just punch in dfw metroplex real estate and uh we're on the apple android format so no matter what kind of phone you got we are right there for you and we got all the information there and that's courtesy of our friends snaprealestate.com snap with two p's snaprealestate.com so uh what's going on this week uh let me give you the update on the outline uh, we're going to do some talking with uh, Kevin Hamus of Ideal Floors, and uh, that's our new partner. And we had a great success story uh, finally come to completion this past week. We'll talk about that uh, with those guys. And uh, we're going to get into some real estate topics, and uh, we're going to talk probably a little bit about Proposition 1. Uh, you know, it's time to do some voting coming up again, uh, so we're going to talk a little bit about that as well so we got lots of stuff to uh to go over with you uh some pitfalls of flipping and uh how to work with a partner in real estate uh, if you're investing we got all kinds of good stuff for you coming up here so uh we're gonna get into it usually we start out with a little bit of this day in history so uh why don't we get after that real quick by the way it is october 18th sunday uh gonna be the last day of the fair. So if you haven't made it out to the state fair of Texas, uh, today's going to be the last day to, to do that. And, uh, you know, I keep hearing about that fried lobster they got out there. I haven't made it out to the state fair yet this year, but, um, I hear the fried lobster is pretty good. I was actually out at my favorite restaurant in, uh, McKinney yesterday, San Miguel's. And I was talking to Arturo, the owner, and he said he had been out there, to the fair and uh, tried the lobster. He said it was pretty good, but he said it was a heck of a bunch of coupons, and he wasn't quite sure he was worth it, but uh, he said it was pretty good. So anyway, the state fair is always fun, so if you hadn't made it out there today, last day, you might want to hop on out there. But uh, bouncing over to this day in history, October 18th, back in time. Let's go to 1892. 1892, uh, first commercial Long distance phone line opens, and uh, where was that from and to? That was Chicago to New York. Uh, first commercial long distance phone line open. 1922, the BBC, uh, British Broadcasting Company, was founded. Uh, now I believe it's called British Broadcasting Corporation, but uh, 1922, BBC comes on in. Uh, what else we got this time in history? Uh, how about 1967, Walt Disney's The Jungle Book 
is released. If you remember the Jungle Book, I think that was the there was a fun song in that one, the bare necessities of life, I believe. Uh, a little Mowgli, in the, uh, if my memory serves me correct, uh, the Jungle Book, 1967. Uh, hey, and if you've been to Vegas lately, um, and you've walked down, headed towards the stratosphere, towards that end of the strip, you've probably walked by Circus Circus, and uh, you've kind of thought to yourself, you know, how old is that thing? And, um, you know, when <laughs> when are they going to tear that thing down? Um well, I can tell you, it opened in 1968 on this day, as a matter of fact, October 18th, 1968. So this day back in history, Circus Circus opened. And uh, yeah, it's been there a while, almost 50 years. And uh, I know every time I walk by it when I'm in Vegas, I'm thinking, man, that thing looks looks old. And uh, when are they going to tear it down? But yeah, it opened in 1968. Uh, what else happened in 1968? Well, uh, John Lennon and Yoko Ono, they were fined 150 pounds uh, for Mary Jane possession. And uh, that was a big deal overseas and here, too, I suppose. Uh, let's go to 1992. Uh, Philadelphia Eagle Randall Cunningham sets the NFL QB scramble record of 3,683 yards. And so that got me to thinking, okay, Who's who's in the lead now? And uh, so I tell you what, I'm going to throw at you the top seven rushing quarterbacks of all time since that got me thinking. Number seven, John Elway, actually, 3,400 yards, 33 touchdowns. Coming in number six, another Philly Eagle, Donovan McNabb, 34.59 yards. Then we got Steve McNair came in at five. Uh, here's one blast from the past. Fran Tarkenton came in at number four all-time rushing quarterback. Number three, Steve Young. Steve Young had over 4,000 yards uh, and, amazingly, 43 touchdowns, which was the big number for him. Uh, Randall Cunningham, he uh, came in at number two. Overall, almost 5,000 yards rushing. And then uh, who's number one? Michael Vick. Michael Vick is the number one current rushing quarterback of all time with just over 6,000 yards. And uh, I, I suspected it was him because he put up some amazing numbers over time. He really did. And, uh, you know, now he's uh, kind of back in the game again a little bit uh, uh, out there right now. So, you know, I've always been a, a big fan of his, you know, even though his career was kind of up and down. But, uh, yeah, number one all-time rushing quarterback so how about that so that spurred that uh let's move on uh, how about 1995 the winnipeg jets were sold and uh headed on down to phoenix and then uh if you follow hockey at all and uh, nhl um, you know the winnipeg jets uh came back uh in the form of uh, Atlanta and uh, about five years ago. And so, and they decided to go back with that same, same name, Winnipeg Jets. So uh, that thought that was pretty interesting and thought I'd throw that at you. So folks, that was this day in history going back in time, October 18th. So how about all of that? Well, folks, uh, interesting week in in real estate we had some some nice successes this week uh got some of our listings sold and by the way we had a couple of the listings that we featured here on the radio show uh 1209 randalito in arlington um, as well as 8000 sartain up in fort worth we got those sold and uh so we're quite happy about that we featured those uh listings on the radio show and uh got them sold pretty darn quickly uh the one on randolito that's one of the uh that's that great success story we had with ideal floors where they came in and uh, replaced the carpet and uh as soon as they did that we got the property on the market very quickly and uh it went under contract uh very quickly and you know we're happy to say uh that it did go over list price and uh, I think that's, you know, due in part to, uh, you know, great job that we did, of course, you know, as uh, the real estate agent and uh, brokerage. But, uh, of course, due to our friends at Ideal Floors who uh, 
quickly got in there, got some great flooring in at a great price. And then, of course, we utilized the program that they have, which is uh, if you're selling your property, they give us 45 days to get your home under contract so that you don't have to actually go out of pocket uh, to pay for that flooring. And that flooring can actually be paid for at closing. Uh, so that you don't have to come out of pocket. So that's a, a pretty huge deal. So we were able to utilize that program with Ideal Floors, which is a special program that uh, they have for us. And uh, and uh, in addition to that, we were able, through our relationship with Ideal Floors, get the uh, home seller 20% off of the cost of that flooring as well. So not only did they not have to come out of pocket, but uh, we also got them 20% off the bill. And so uh, they were able to pay that out of the proceeds of the sale at closing because we got under contract so quickly. And uh, so pretty stoked about that. And then, of course, our uh, listing up in Fort Worth, North Fort Worth, uh, we got that one very close to list and uh, got that one uh, knocked out of the park as well. So happy to report that, that uh, we are knocking it out of the park, folks. So you're going to have to give us a call if you uh, think about selling out there. Well, folks, it's Inside Real Estate with Mike Rozinga, and uh, we're just going to take a quick break, and we'll be right back. The J.C. Harder Insurance Agency in Uptown Dallas has nearly unlimited resources when it comes to getting you the best insurance rates and policies for home, auto, and more. As part of the Goosehead Insurance brand, you, the consumer, have the power of choice through the J.C. Harder Insurance Agency network. For a quote today on all your insurance needs, stop by J.C.'s office on McKinney Avenue in Uptown Dallas. Call 214-643-6108 or visit jcharderagency.com. That's 214-643-6108 or jcharderagency.com. Sellers, how would you like your home sold guaranteed? Buyers, how would you like your bid guaranteed to win? Well, it's real simple. Call Mike Krasinga with Chris Arnold Premier Realty and ask about their guarantee programs for both buyers and sellers. No one beats Mike's professional listing and marketing services for all price ranges, including luxuries and ranches. And few have the knowledge and patience to take first-time buyers from renting to home ownership in a tough market. Visit dfwmetroplexrealestate.com and mention you heard this on the radio. And listen to Mike Sundays, 8 a.m. on KLIF for Inside Real Estate. Hey folks, we're back. It's Inside Real Estate with Mike Krasinga. Website InsideRealEstateRadio.com, InsideRealEstateRadio.com. Here in studio, folks, we've got Kevin Hamus of Ideal Floors, the website IdealFloors.com, phone number where they can always help you out. And by the way, folks, this is the owner's cell phone number. Uh, how many companies do you know where the owner actually gives out their cell phone number? Not very many. And here it is, 214-789-0422. Uh, Kevin, the owner of Ideal Floors, will actually get you squared away directly himself. And the man is right here in studio with us, Kevin Hamus. Welcome back to the show. Well, I appreciate it, Mike. I'm glad to be back. Well, we're excited to have you on board as part of our exclusive uh, radio network with our show, with the Inside Real Estate Radio uh, Network, and uh, all of our referral partners here. And um, let's get into some some things about uh, your company, what makes you guys different from from the rest, and uh, kind of how you guys operate. Okay. Um, well, one of the things you just covered is every customer can get my cell phone number. And the reason we do that is because I want to make sure that we give excellent customer service. And I guess my thought is, why wouldn't the, the owner give his cell phone number out? Is he concerned about something? Is he worried about something? And uh, so I just, I feel it's very important to give my cell phone number out. Yeah, I, and I agree with that because, I mean, obviously as, as a real estate agent myself, as a realtor, my phone number is everywhere too. And, um, you know, I answer the phone. Generally, if you call me, I'll answer it unless I'm with a client. And, um, you know, you feel exactly the same way, you know, and you answer the phone when folks call you. And, uh, you know, I think there's a lot of people out there that are going to really respect that uh, because there's so many times we try to call somebody and you can't get a hold of them at all. Uh, even you can't get a hold of their support staff, but I mean, we're talking about you, the owner of the company and they can actually reach you directly. And that's, uh, that's pretty amazing. Yeah. I, I, I don't think there's any other way to operate. And the other thing I like to do by people calling me is I can kind of track where my business is coming from and where my advertising is working. So I, I like to do that also. Sure. Absolutely. Absolutely. And so folks, by the way, when you do give him a call, make sure you've heard it and tell him. You heard it on Inside Real Estate Radio uh, right here on 570 AM Cliff. So, folks, uh, we're going to get into some business practices that are, make ideal floors different than everybody else. 
Uh, they do some great things that allow them to pass on amazing savings to you guys, the consumer out there. So let's talk a little bit about that. Well, one of the things that we do is we buy in huge volume. We buy by the truckload. We currently have over three and a half million square feet in stock, and we have three different warehouses. We have a warehouse in Garland, one in Duncanville, and one in Fort Worth. So they're kind of spread throughout the Metroplex. And we buy a lot of drops, overruns, promotional goods, seconds, bankruptcy stock, you know, stuff like that that gets cleared out at low prices. And what we do is because we buy in volume and we ship in volume, we're able to pass those prices on to the consumer. Right. And so, folks, if you're listening, uh, this is an excellent, smart, intelligent way to do business. And so they're doing that uh, so that they can pass on that value to you folks out there. And with all those locations around the Metroplex, it doesn't matter where you are in the Metroplex, Ideal Floors can get you covered. Yeah, because we also we have five we have five locations in the Metroplex. At each one of the warehouses, we have a showroom where you can go in and look at product, and also there's product there that you can carry out. We have another showroom in Plano and another one in North Richland Hills. The other thing nice about having all this in stock, if somebody wants to do a project and they don't have to want to wait for somebody, for material to come in special order, they can just go to one of our warehouses, see what we have, pick it up, and they can carry it out. Right, absolutely. And so, uh, and that's a huge thing because, you know, a lot of times you don't want to wait around to get something done. You want to go in, get what you want, and boom, you're out of there. And with that huge amount of stock that you guys have, uh, if you go into Ideal Floors, you can actually get that done, folks. Yeah, and the other thing that goes along with that, if you're trying to get something installed fast, well, if you go to a, a, a store that where you have to special order it, it may be two, three, four weeks before you can have it installed. Well, if we have it in stock, you know, we usually are a week to 10 days out, and sometimes we can get it just in the next day or two, depending on what the product is and what kind of installation it is. Absolutely. And that, again, that's so huge because a lot of times when we do make flooring upgrades, we're doing it right because of something special. You know, either it's uh, maybe coming up to the holidays, we're going to have a family in, or uh, maybe we're getting ready to sell the property. We need to uh, make sure the flooring's upgraded there. Or it's just time to impress somebody. The mother in law is coming over. She hasn't been there in uh, years. And uh, you're going to be on a time frame, a quick timeline, and uh, that could be really important. Yeah, and and right now, this time of the year, it's a lot of people are getting their stuff, you know, their homes ready for the holidays. They're going to have people coming in. So, you know, we have, you know, sales going on where we try and, you know, offer a consumer good pricing and even more exceptional pricing now than we even do normally. Right. And so when you talk about they can go in and pick up their materials now, you guys, uh, of course, you do your installs, but can folks come in? and uh, buy materials as well if they decide they want to install it on their own. Yes, we, we do a lot of do-it-yourselfer stuff. We also we, we deal with a lot of contractors, a lot of installers, general contractors, you know, people who are doing remodeling work, and, and the homeowner who wants to do a project on his own. Because, you know, for somebody, if they're handy, they can install tile by themselves. They can install laminate by themselves So, and vinyl planks. So there's lots of do it yourself or is that come in and just buy it and carry it out? Okay. So not only are we talking about just the uh, average Joe consumer that uh, wants to get not only the product and the install, but if you're a do it yourself or, or a contractor, this is a great way to get great materials as well, even though you're going to do it yourself. And the other thing is, is we also have all the things that are needed to do the installation. Like we have the glue and, and, um, transitions and quarter round and stuff like that that you need to and grout and stuff like that so you you know we're a one-stop place right absolutely one-stop shop well folks it's been kevin hamus from ideal floors this is uh inside real estate radio folks website inside real estate radio.com don't forget to uh call kevin directly and by the way folks this is his cell number and uh Hey, how many owners out there of companies do you get their cell number? That's how much he wants to talk to you. That's how much he wants to take care of you. His cell number direct, 214-789-0422, idealfloors.com is the website. Folks, it's Inside Real Estate with Mike Krasinga. We'll be back in a few.
Millennium Title Carroll PC Real Estate is a unique multi-service real estate title, law, and real estate investment firm that handles over 150 commercial and residential closings each month. Their real estate, legal, and tax services range from purchases to refinances to short sales and reverse mortgages. They can handle all of your real estate, legal, and tax planning needs. Their experience offers clients and investors a comprehensive perspective in managing their real estate law and investment needs. Visit TXTitleAttorney.com, that's TXTitleAttorney.com, or call 817-310-0136. With decades of experience, the Rocky Martin Supreme Lending Team will work to close your home loan in 30 days or less. With access to the most competitive interest rates, the most financing options, and the most access to down payment assistance programs, the Rocky Martin Team won't be beating service to you for all your mortgage needs, including purchase and refinance. Trust RockyMartin.com and his team for their reliable and fast loan process. Go to RockyMartin.com or call 972-772-1866 today. For housing lender, NMLS ID number 211731-6730, Horizon Road, Sweet B, Heath, Texas, 75032. The J.C. Harder Insurance Agency in Uptown Dallas has nearly unlimited resources when it comes to getting you the best insurance rates and policies for home, auto, and more. As part of the Goosehead Insurance brand, you, the consumer, have the power of choice through the J.C. Harder Insurance Agency network. For a quote today on all your insurance needs, stop by J.C.'s office on McKinney Avenue in Uptown Dallas. Call 214-643-6108 or visit jcharderagency.com. That's 214-643-6108 or J.C. JCHarderAgency.com. Now back to Inside Real Estate. Here's Mike the Realtor. Hey folks, Mike Rozinga here. We are back. It's Inside Real Estate. The website inside real estate radio.com. Inside real estate radio.com is the website. Connect with us there. You can bounce over to my real estate website as well as connect with all of our partners uh, as part of the radio show. We were just talking with Kevin Hamus, uh, owner of Ideal Floors, and uh, had a great conversation with him. Uh, website idealfloors.com. Uh, love working with, with him. And, uh, you know, they've got that great program where they're giving back to the community. Uh, and um, so if you know of someone who's in need of flooring, uh, maybe a fixed income, a uh, senior citizen, a uh, single parent, uh, who needs flooring ideal floors is actively actively folks uh giving back to the community and they want to give more so uh call me direct uh go to the website email me call me text me or call kevin the owner and uh he manages the applications directly himself and uh there's a whole section on their website about ideal gives back and uh, at the idealfloors.com website. And I just think that's amazing that they do that um, to give back to the community because you'd be surprised how much uh, new flooring, especially if you don't have flooring or have very destroyed flooring, uh, how that can just raise the spirits of folks. And um, uh, what Kevin's doing, I think, is is pretty amazing uh, right there. So, you know, get with them, uh, Ideal Floors, uh, website idealfloors.com. And like I said, uh, we had a great success story with the uh, – that listing we just sold with it, where they put the flooring in and uh, just got that sold this past week. And, you know, by the way, we had, uh, those clients, we were actually able to get them with JC of, uh, Goosehead insurance and get them a great deal on their new purchase. Cause we not only just sold their home and made them homeless, but we actually got them into another home, uh, all in the same day. We had, uh, we closed both deals for them in the same day through our, uh, exclusive title partner, millennium title. And so we were able to, uh, and folks, this is a very difficult thing uh, to do, by the way. And um, by the way, if you've ever uh, attempted to sell and buy out there and worked with another agent or brokerage, you've found out probably the hard way um, that the agent that is selling your house probably doesn't want to help you find a house. Um, by and large, that is uh, what we see in the in the Metroplex and to a degree nationally, that uh, whoever does list your house for sale, generally they are not going to help you purchase. Uh, it's kind of a rare thing. Uh, reason why is it's it's complicated and it uh, there's a lot to that. And so a lot of people don't have the skill set to manage both the sell and the buy uh, at all, much less manage it seamlessly. And so for this particular client, who we were able to get with Supreme Lending for their 
uh, purchase on the new home we were able to get with JC. Uh, and by the way, JC got them an amazing deal on insurance, uh, less than $1,200 a year for a very nice home, uh, kind of in the 250 range, and uh, under $1,200 a year for that uh, homeowner's policy, folks, which is pretty amazing. So if you're hearing those numbers right there, you need to, and you don't, you're not getting that on your current policy. Well, you might want to bounce over to InsideRealEstateRadio.com, get JC's info, make sure you let him know you heard it on the radio, or give me a call and we'll get you connected with him directly. But uh, yeah, we were able to get them a great insurance policy, a great deal, great interest rate with a mortgage through our radio partners here, and of course we got their flooring in the house that they sold as well. Uh, got them at the title company. And so we were able to seamlessly transition uh, all in one day, uh, closing the sale of their property and then closing the purchase of the new property. And that was done all back to back seamlessly at the title company. And uh, we set it up so that they could have a, a lease back at their property so that they could still move out and have a little bit of time to get into the new property. And, uh, you know, folks, that's a difficult uh, thing to quarterback. And so uh, we're quite proud of being able to do that type of thing for our clients uh, because we like to take care of you and make sure you're not just homeless, but uh, we get you into a, another property as well. So uh, quite excited about that. And so if you're thinking about selling out there and you're going to need to buy and you're worried about that transition, which uh, is natural, you might want to go w with the pros here, folks, and give us a shout. So what... Uh, what else is going on in real estate, um, folks? Well, I wanted to talk a little bit about um, uh, the pitfalls of investing. And because uh, I see these all the time, and I kind of mentioned it uh, last week and the week before. But, folks, if you're going to have a partner uh, and you're going to invest in real estate, then, you know, and this is common sense, you know, to me and, and to some people who have common sense, but. Uh, you'd be surprised how uncommon common sense is. So you need a contract, um, just food for thought there. Yeah, you need a contract with your partner. And so you need to think about these things um, because when it comes to money, you know, there's always going to be issues. And uh, so you need to think about how you're going to run this uh, transaction. Uh, who's going to own the property? Is it going to be in both names? Uh, a lot of times what happens is uh, one party will purchase the property and it will be in their name and they may use some type of mortgage. It might be a hard uh, money lending mortgage, temporary mortgage. And then the other person uh, is doing more of the sweat equity. You know, maybe they're putting some money down. Maybe they're potentially clearing some liens, providing funds to clear some liens on the property. If you're buying uh, through a foreclosure process, an auction process, or uh, other non-traditional process. And so you've got those two avenues. You know, you've kind of got those two people. Maybe one's providing uh, more uh, contractual work on the house, sweat equity, and the other is providing uh, maybe more the stability of the financing side because they're more familiar with that. Well, guess what, folks? If one person is on the records as actually owning the property and the other person is not, well, that person that is not uh, legally in the ownership well, guess what? You're already automatically uh, going to be in the down position. So you need a contract with whoever's going to actually be owning the property that, uh, you know, you've gone into this together and uh, you equally are going to get the proceeds or however you guys decide to get the proceeds from this property. If you're flipping it, you know, if you're just going to turn it around and sell it, then it's going to be a quick sell or uh, how you're going to get the proceeds from if this is a rental property. If you're going to keep the proceeds, if you're going to keep the property for several years, uh, how are you going to split those proceeds? But in any case, we see this very often that there's one person who's more the financial side and one person who is more uh, the contractor side. And the contractor can always get in trouble. And uh, the problem is, is the contractor is going to go out and spend money on uh, repairs, etc., and uh, sweat equity. And um, then they can put themselves in a position to lose out. And uh, saw this with uh, a prospective client that wanted to get their house on the market uh, recently. And, um, you know, come to find out when we start doing all the research, they, they really don't own the property, but they were 
charged with rehabbing the property and getting it ready to sell. And um, so they ended up having to go to court. Luckily, they did have an agreement with the actual owner of the property. And uh, but they're still having to go through the legal mess of dealing with it. So, folks, you can get into a real mess. And unfortunately, this person tied up, you know, six figures uh, into this property through, you know, because if you're a contractor, you're paying your clients, uh, your crews to come in and do all the work. Generally, they're hourly. So you're paying them in advance. Uh, You're going out and buying materials. Uh, You're going out and buying new appliances, et cetera, for the install. So you're putting yourself uh, in the hole. And um, then all of a sudden, if you happen to be working with a partner who is less than stellar, then um, you can get uh, hit pretty hard. And uh, this person was having to go through that, getting hit pretty hard, unfortunately, and having to go through the legal mess of uh, getting reimbursed. All the meanwhile, the home is just sitting empty, sitting vacant, and um, uh, losing money, and there's potential for it to be vandalized, etc., and so until they can get sold, nobody's going to get paid, you know, but there are some owners uh, or some people uh, that uh, who are going to be the financial side of the transaction uh, who don't care. You know, maybe they don't necessarily need the money. They don't care where the home sits there or not. But that contractor who's, uh, you know, a little bit tighter with funds, self-employed, they, you know, they need it and this can kill them. And so folks, don't get into that situation. If you're going to invest in real estate, that's great. Absolutely. Let's talk about it. Let's figure out the best way to help you do that. If you're going to do it with a partner, though, I highly suggest looking at uh, forming an LLC uh, or some sort of partnership so that you can uh, have it legally set out how you guys own the property, how you guys own the company, and then the company owns the property. You know, But a lot of times, especially first-time investors, you know, you're going to do a deal with somebody and maybe somebody's going to purchase a property under their own name. And then you're just going to kind of help with the process. Well, guess what? If you're the one helping with the process, uh, you're at a disadvantage and you need to protect yourself. So if you're not going to form an LLC or corporation, a holding company of some sort uh, to put the property under, then you'd at least need to have some sort of contract uh, that lays out exactly how you guys get reimbursed for expenses, how you're going to split the proceeds, uh, how you're going to run the transaction. And you can at least get that. And um, this person I'm referring to, they did at least get that, but they're still having to go through the legal process of it. It's better to make sure that you are somehow part of the ownership, uh, uh, whether it's your name's on there, their name's on there, or it's a company that's owning the property and you both have a percentage ownership of the company and in the company documents, it outlines uh, ownership and how uh, all things are to be split. So just a little advice for you guys there. Um, you know, cause folks, you can get into some real trouble, real, real trouble there. If you don't pay attention to that and you don't want to be on that side of it at all. So just a little advice for you there. All right, folks, it is inside real estate with Mike Krasinga. We will be right back. Hey, Bob, how's business? Is the new website helping? Not good. I I can't figure out how to get the website finished. How did you do it? Easy. I called web.com. They built my website for free. Then they promoted it on all the search engines. Like Google, Yahoo, and Bing? Exactly. And web.com has helped grow my business so much, I had to bring on new staff. Hey, if web.com did it for you, they're perfect for me. Call now, 1-800-535-8815. That's 1-800-535-8815. Again, 1-800-535-8815. Are you living with pain? So was Lisa, a brave Marine wounded in Iraq. After surviving an explosion, I was on horrible painkillers. I tried one-hour pain relief, and now I'm pain-free all day without dangerous side effects. And it works in less than one hour. Try it free for one week and pay only the shipping with no automatic shipments. Call 800-600-6910 right now or visit onehourpainrelief.com. That's 800-600-6910. 800-600-6910. Now back to Inside Real Estate. Here's Mike the Realtor. Hey, folks. Mike Rzinga here. We are back. Inside Real Estate website. InsideRealEstateRadio.com. InsideRealEstateRadio.com. Hey, if you're buying, you're selling, you're investing, give me a call. We're going to get you taken care of. 
And um, folks, if you are one of those first time investors, uh, let's let's talk first because we don't want you to get into any trouble out there. Um, I know there's a lot of folks out there with all kinds of get rich quick, invest in real estate schemes and nonsense. And um, but you know, folks, if it was all that easy, we'd all be doing it. And you know, obviously we're all not, so it's not that easy. So give me a shout. And uh, guess what? We'll get you taken care of. Uh, I've got a lot of first-time investors that I've worked with, you know, just the average folks, and we get them squared away and uh, give them all the information they need to uh, do things the right way. You know, we get them hooked up with our partners, Millennium Title, our real estate attorneys, etc., and uh, get everybody taken care of because we care about you folks. We do. Um, all right. Well, let's, uh, let's talk a little bit about uh, Proposition 1. So we got voting coming up, and it seems like we're always voting for something every time we turn around. But um, we've got early voting starting next week, and then uh, uh, regular poll day, I believe, is November 3rd. And so we've got a big thing coming up for real estate that we, you know, you need to know about. And if you haven't heard about it, I'm sure you probably have, but uh, we want to touch base on it. And it's uh, Proposition 1. And uh, we want to vote for that because it's going to do some good things for us uh, as it relates to real estate and uh, homeowners, okay? Uh, number one, it is going to uh, increase the homestead exemption uh, from 15000 to $25,000. Um, you know, that's the nice thing about uh, living here in Texas, and, and a lot of states have this as well, is... Uh, you know, you're only allowed to have one homestead, and uh, so your primary residence uh, is allowed to get a discount off of assessed value. Uh, so that reduces your property taxes a little bit. You know, it's uh, not a huge amount, but anything helps, of course. And so uh, voting for Proposition 1, you know, that is going to, uh, part one of it, uh, increase that homestead exemption from fifteen thousand dollars to twenty five thousand dollars, and um, so that's a good thing, and that's a positive thing. So that means uh, we want to vote yes uh, on Proposition One. Now it's going to do um, a few other things as well, um, providing the full benefit of the higher exemption to seniors and disabled Texans. Um, that is a good thing as well. Okay. So that's a positive thing. You know, we want to vote yes on that. And, uh, you know, sometimes local taxing authorities can, uh, uh, do some things that kind of mess with, um, how you get taxed, right? So that you might have to pay a higher taxes. And so part three of this is it's going to prevent local taxing authorities from undoing, if you will, any property tax relief, uh, delivered uh, through the higher uh, homestead exemption. Okay, again, that's a positive thing, and you know, uh, I know some of the the wording on this, you know, may be uh, difficult to understand, but that is a positive thing as well. Um, additionally, it's going to sort of preemptively say that hey, um, there's never going to be a sales tax on real estate transactions. Uh, so it's going to prohibit state and local governments from ever collecting a sales tax uh, on real estate transactions. You know, now we don't have um, a sales tax on real estate transactions right now, but we're sort of preemptive, preemptively saying, because uh, there's a lot of talk about that out there, you know, not only at the state level, but at the national level, that um, that's a thought out there. You know, obviously they're always trying to figure out a way to tax us, any way they can. And uh, so this is uh, preemptively sort of attacking that and saying, you know what? No, that's not going to happen. We're going to cut that off right now. And it's never, never going to happen. So um, it's a, a tax that's not there, but we don't want to ever see it. And uh, the popularity of that discussion of seeing it in the future was so high. Um, you know, in particular, the Texas realtor, Texas realtors, uh, along with uh, the folks down in Austin, you know, have said, hey, look, we need to kind of cut this one off at the pass and not let it get any further. And so, uh, and uh, we were able to uh, 
you know, all working together, get that in there. And um, so, look, that's proposition one, folks. And uh, so, obviously, you can do your own research on it and look it up and see what uh, uh, all the rest of the details are. But in a nutshell, that's it. And uh, so that's a good thing. Um, you might want to highly look into that and uh, uh, vote yes on Prop 1. Uh, in my opinion, uh, as your local Dallas-Fort Worth area realtor anyway, because those are all positive things, and I'm, of course, looking at those things uh, as a homeowner as well. And so as a homeowner, uh, all of those things are positive impacts for me as a homeowner. Um, so I'm excited to go and do my civic duty come voting time and, uh, give that a, a yes. So there's proposition one for you. That's the information on it. Do with it what you will. Um, what else do we have going on in real estate? Well, why don't we hit, uh, a couple headlines real quick for you folks. Okay. Here's a couple headlines real quick for you. Uh, we've got, uh, you know, we need more homes over in the Plano area. Plano's been so tight for a while, um, especially with all the uh, corporations that we have, uh, all the headquarters we have in Plano and all the new ones that are moving in. So we've got a $60 million project coming to Plano, and uh, we're looking at 182 new single family. Now, these are going to be townhomes. Uh, we're on about 19 acres, uh, sort of northwest uh, corner of Plano Parkway and Independence. And, uh, you know, this project has been kind of in the works for a while, well, actually around a decade, uh, because the, the tract of land uh, was actually purchased back in 2005. And uh, uh, ironically, at the time, it was it was not zoned appropriately. So that's one of the reasons why it's kind of sat for so long. But now that we know we've got to have more single family homes in the area, um, that tract is now rezoned uh, appropriately. And so we can get this project, you know, off the ground and get us some new homes over there in Plano. Um, so that uh, is is a great thing. Um, looks like Megatel Homes is going to be building those uh, most of those homes in that project and uh, should be beginning uh, construction uh, first of 2016 next year. So that's that's a great, great thing. Um, we're looking at another 1,100 homes down in Fort Worth because um, you know, folks, our inventory has been so tight, so crazy, um, which has been great for home prices for you home sellers, of course. But we've got so many buyers on the sidelines, we just can't find properties for them. So we, we need more homes. And so this is another great uh, article. We're going to get another 1,100 uh, homes over around Fort Worth on about 261 acres. Uh, Chisholm Trail Ranch. And um, so we're looking at uh, uh, going to be over there off Chisholm Trail Parkway, of course. Um, you know, and that thing was a you know, $1.4 billion project in itself. Uh, opened up last year. But uh, Chisholm Trail Ranch, and uh, it's going to have its own elementary uh, there in Crowley. You know, Crowley schools aren't bad. I, I hear, you know, good and bad things over there, but um, not bad at all. So um, this will be a new school over there in the community. And uh, it's going to be part of the 75-acre uh, uh, Chisholm Trail park um and then the hike and bike trails are going to be all connected over there so so thank goodness you know hey we're not only going to be getting some new homes in plano uh we got another 1100 homes coming in fort worth uh off the turnpike over there so that's a great thing as well so folks uh lots of good things going on in real estate um and uh we're gonna get in and talk uh with jc with about a little bit of insurance talk as we wrap up the show here folks um, folks, it's Inside Real Estate with Mike Krasinga. We'll be back in a few.
Millennium Title Carroll PC Real Estate is a unique multi-service real estate title, law, and real estate investment firm that handles over 150 commercial and residential closings each month. Their real estate, legal, and tax services range from purchases to refinances to short sales and reverse mortgages. They can handle all of your real estate, legal, and tax planning needs. Their experience offers clients and investors a comprehensive perspective in managing their real estate law and investment needs. Visit TXTitleAttorney.com, that's TXTitleAttorney.com, or call 817-310-0136. At TIAA Craft, our record sounds like a broken record. We got impressive results in 2013. And 2014, same thing. We're like, hey, weren't we just here? Then 2015, boom, more impressive results. That's the kind of record you'd expect from a company that's created to serve and built to perform. Intelligent investing, powerful results. Visit TIAA.org. TIAA Craft Individual and Institutional Services, LLC. Investing involves risk. I'm in almost every school bus and classroom. You see me around the neighborhood, and you tell me that I'm a pretty good kid. Well, I'm one out of every five children in America, and I'm struggling with hunger. Please visit feedingamerica.org today and find your local food bank for ways to help. Every dollar you donate helps provide eight meals for kids like me. We are Feeding America. Brought to you by Feeding America and the Ad Council. All right, folks, welcome back to Inside Real Estate with Mike Krizinga. And it's time once again for one of my favorite segments, our insurance segment. A uh, good friend, J.C. Harder, is in studio with us from uh, the J.C. Harder Goosehead Insurance Agency over in Uptown on McKinney, just around the corner from my office. Uh, the website is jcharderagency.com, jcharderagency.com, and the phone number at his office, 214-643-6108. 214-643-6108. Uh, JC, welcome back to the show. Thanks, Mike. Good morning, everyone. I want to take a few minutes this week and focus on motorcycle and ATV insurance. With the summer here, the long summer hours, you know, you can get some some good riding hours in and just kind of want to hit some, you know, stuff you probably already know, but, you know, maybe we'll hit some points that, you know, you're not familiar with. So, um, as far as, you know, being just under our Goosehead Insurance brand, we have access to over 10 different motorcycle and ATV companies. So for one thing, we that's the power of choice. We can give you multiple companies, multiple rates, and some of those motorcycle policies are better than the others. So depending on how much you want to spend and how much you ride, we can really build that policy for you. Just like automobile insurance, you know, you're required to have state minimum limits for your liability coverage that makes you legal while driving. Um, if it's maybe a really old bike, you know, you can forego full coverage, but we always want to push that full coverage, that comp and collision coverage. So not only are you legal, but your bike is protected in case, you know, something was to happen. Uh, typically with the motorcycles as well, too, it's not that much of a price difference. So Really take your time. Call me. Call my wife, Patty. Um, my father-in-law, Patricia's father, is a huge Harley rider, and I've learned so much just, you know, at family gatherings here in the last six, eight months uh, that really plays into, you know, our everyday life here. Another example of kind of the perks or the better insurance carriers out there is a lot of your motorcycle owners have upgrades or tricked out custom parts to their motorcycles. Well, if you didn't let your no agent know that or spend very good much time with them, you know, in the event of a claim and saddlebags, you know, upgrades like that are stolen or damaged and you didn't report those, then you're going to have an upset claims uh, situation there. So custom paint jobs, lights, chrome packages, saddlebags, GPS, you know, anything, everything that's an upgrade to the policy, make sure your agent knows that, you know, for for fu- to avoid future headaches there. Yeah, it's a, it's a great point, JC, because, I mean, I'm, I'm a Harley rider myself. I'm on an 04 V-Rod right now. And, uh, man, that thing's quick, by the way. Uh, it is fast. Um, but, you know, as a MC rider, you know, it is all about tricking out your motorcycle. And even if you're a more conservative uh, rider, you know, you're still putting value into your bike above and beyond factory and, and honestly, that's all we think about all the time is, you know, what else are we going to do to our bike? What else are we going to do to our bike? And we may forget, you know, to, although we're spending thousands of dollars uh, 
adding aftermarket onto our bike, we forget to update our policy so that we're covered. And so we need to make sure we're calling JC and letting them know, hey, I just threw $2,500 at my bike again. And uh, so you can take care of us, right? Absolutely. And most of your your big, better companies out there will have, you know, blankets for those limits. So it can, you know, if you're at that twenty five or $3,000 range, we can play with those numbers to make sure it's all correct there. Um, another common mistake is some people think that motorcycles are covered under their home insurance policy or, you know, those saddlebags and upgrades are as well and try to, you know, claim it on their homeowners in case of weather situations or fire or more often or not theft. But again, that's why you want to take some time, build the perfect motorcycle policy for you because it is not covered on any other policy except that motorcycle policy. And another thing why, you know, having the right policy for your motorcycle is really important is because you know, honestly, a lot of accidents occur in parking lots as it relates to motorcycle, because, you know, a lot of people are driving these big SUVs and they just aren't paying attention, uh, you know, and they can hit your motorcycle pretty easily and you can get some pretty significant damage just in the parking lot somewhere, um, uh, all the time. So, you know, as a motorcycle rider, we're constantly battling uh, to be seen out there. You know, luckily, you know, we're nimble when we're on the road and we can, you know, move around fairly well. But, you know, when it's sitting there in the parking lot and you're in the store or in the restaurant, uh, you know, things happen, right? Absolutely. And again, that's another reason why you want to take some time, spend a few extra dollars a month to avoid the headache on the back end. Now, one other type of coverage I want to hit on is um, for you, for you riders that like your road trips, maybe going up to Sturgis for the big party and everything, uh, there's a coverage called mechanical breakdown or roadside assistance. Typically, again, it's very cheap, but it's got very good value. So if you're on that long trip and your bike does, you know, break down in a sense, then that coverage will fix the bike and pay for your lodging, food, transportation until it's all uh, complete. So a uh, very good value for very little premium. Yeah, that's great because I mean, you know, things happen on our motorcycle and, you know, unfortunately with when you're riding a motorcycle, uh, it's not as easy to just kind of drive it on into the shop like you do your car. A lot of times you're just stuck wherever you are. And uh, there are a lot of programs and packages out there that offer roadside assistance, but I don't think anything that's going to compare to what you can get uh, when you're putting together the right package, especially with JC. Yes, that's correct, Mike. Last thing, let's talk about some ATVs real quick, where those are not a street legal vehicle. Um, I still recommend covering those at all costs, especially for your hunters that, you know, maybe it stays at the, the ranch for a few months a year and not at the house. Well, a lot can happen while you're gone. And if you have the coverage, you know, correctly, then again, you're going to avoid all claim headaches if it was damaged by weather, stolen, got shot, you know, for in a sense, you know, on a, on a hunting ranch. So take some time, spend the extra couple bucks to make sure that ATV does have the full coverage um, and covered correctly. Yeah, absolutely. And some of these ATVs, these Polarises, uh, all types of uh, ATV vehicles out there. I mean, especially if we're putting that out on our deer lease and whatnot. I mean, these things cost as much as, you know, cars these days. I mean, fifteen twenty thousand dollars you can drop for a really nice ATV that you might park out at your deer lease and you use it five or six times a year. And, you know, the odds of it getting some kind of damage sitting out there all by itself, stolen or otherwise, you know, are, are pretty good. And uh, so, yeah, make sure you're talking to JC so that that is covered because, you know, you got a fifteen twenty thousand dollar asset sitting out there and uh, you'd hate to see it just go kaput. Absolutely. Then last last part about ATVs is take the PIP or injury medical bills coverage on that. Worst case scenario, you have kids at the ranch, uh, you know, friends of your kids, things like that, and they're they're driving, and you know, maybe they're not the most experienced. And if they do flip it, things do happen. You know, either those medical bills are coming out of your pocket, or you can file it on your insurance um, carrier there. So. Even though it is, you know, not a street legal vehicle, we always recommend as much coverage as possible for your ATV and your toys there. 
Absolutely. And, you know, folks, we, we don't need it until we need it. So, you know, plan ahead, whether it's motorcycles, ATVs, whatever the case may be, uh, you don't want to wait until you need it to need it. So take care of it in advance. Get with JC. Get your coverage squared away on all your toys. Uh, it's been JC Harder from the JC Harder Agency, uh, Goosehead brand over in Uptown. And the uh, website's jcharderagency.com and phone number over at the office, 214-643-6108. Uh, thanks, JC, for being here again for the insurance segment. Uh, folks, we'll be right back with Inside Real Estate with Mike Krasinga. Several candidates for President of the United States will take part in a North Texas Presidential Forum this Sunday at Preston Wood Baptist Church. You can hear live coverage at 3 p.m. right here on News and Information 570 KLIF. Now back to Inside Real Estate. Here's Mike the Realtor. Hey folks, Mike Rosinga, Inside Real Estate, website inside real estate radio.com. That was JC Harder from JC Harder Goosehead Insurance. Uh, thanks for another great segment, JC. And uh, folks, this week we don't have any mortgage talk. Uh, this week was Supreme Lending, but that'll be back next week uh, for all your uh needs uh, in mortgage or refinance of course you want to go to our group rockymartin.com rocky with an ie rockymartin.com uh supreme lending team in rockwall and so we've just got a short little bit to go here let's uh, maybe throw some sports in real quick um by the way next week super excited we got our high school sports uh segment back next week uh head coach from alito football uh will be in the studio live next sunday so make sure you tune in for that uh that's the alito head football coach uh gonna be in next week uh here in studio so make sure you tune in for that and uh if you did miss uh had a really good segment with uh joe prudhomme uh, head coach over at Nolan Catholic, seven-time state champion. Uh, if you missed that, uh, you can always hit our archive on the Inside Real Estate Radio dot com website, and uh, that'll get you taken care of right there. So tune in for that next week. Uh, real quick in sports. Hey, if you're a big fantasy fan, um, last uh, Thursday, a couple of days ago, uh, Nevada Gaming Board uh, concluded that uh, daily fantasy sports constitute gambling under their state law. So basically, uh, without the appropriate license, um, it's going to be illegal in the state of Nevada. And so there's been a lot of look by uh, the DOJ and the FBI into, uh, you know, uh, DraftKings and the like, these uh, big-time fantasy uh, operators that are, are making some pretty big payouts. So... That was interesting news. We'll see what happens uh, nationally with all of that, but at least for now in Nevada, can't happen, um, unfortunately. So, folks, it's been Inside Real Estate with Mike Krizinga. We'll see you back here next week, Sunday, 8 a.m. See you then. Neither the hosts nor the guests or contributors of the show Inside Real Estate with Mike Krizinga. Go 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 Inside Real Estate with Mike